Hi, and welcome back to Bi SAT Biology Review. My name is Liz, just in case you forgot. Um, today, we'll be continuing on with the cellular and molecular biology chapter of your book. Today, we're going to be learning about biological macromolecules. So, if you remember last time, we talked about how carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen are found in most of the compounds in living things, and that Compounds containing carbon are known as organic compounds. Well, right now, we're going to be learning about the main four biological macromolecules, uh, which all contain carbon. So, these four biological macromolecules are called carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. So, macromolecules. Macromolecules are basically giant molecules, talking about molecular size here, made up of smaller sized molecules. Three of the four main types of biological macromolecules that we just learned about are chain-like molecules called polymers. Uh, and a polymer is a long molecule made up of similar or identical building blocks. So, for example, think of a necklace. A necklace is would be the polymer, and its building blocks would be each of the individual beads. You string them all together, and you have a, a polymer, or a macromolecule. Um, the building blocks of a polymer are called monomers. So think of the individual beads. Those are the monomers of a necklace. These monomers bind together through the loss of a water molecule, a dehydration reaction. So each of these building blocks of go through a, con a, a synthesis reaction where you're adding these two together and you lose a water molecule in the process. They are disassembled to their separate monomer parts by a reaction known as hydrolysis, hydrolysis, water breaking. You're using water to break bonds between these different molecules. So let's get started with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are known as sugars or saccharides. They play an important role in energy me metabolism and storage, as well as in the structure of cells and organisms. The monomer building blocks of carbohydrates are simple sugars or monosaccharides. So carbohydrates are known as saccharides. They are built, their building blocks are known as monosaccharides. Two monomer sugars are disaccharides, two saccharides, and sugars with many monomers are called polysaccharides. All carbohydrates are made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, three out of the four most common uh, elements in living things. So, monosaccharides. Uh, the general molecular formula for monosaccharides is C to the N, H to N, O N. So basically, um, any molecular formula for a monosaccharide is going to be some sort of, some sort of uh, multiple of C, H, 2, O. So there's going to be, yes, that. The number of carbons in monosaccharides can vary, but the more common simple sugars have five or six. Uh, the ratio between carbon to hydrogen to oxygen is always 1 to 2 to 1. Sugars always have one carbonyl group, either as an aldehyde on the end of the chain, that would be known as 